Hello everybody, Adela here. I hope you've had a fabulous fortnight. I'm going to keep this video simple, short, sweet and straightforward. And it's about prophesizing your future. Now some people believe in fate, some people believe in destiny and it's already written in the stars. However, I believe, if not all of it, a large portion of what your future will be is down to you. Now obviously people will say, talk about it as though you already have it, not I will have that jeep it's i'm so glad i have my jeep but i would go one step further and talk about it in the past tense now before you think adela are you mad about past tense literally write it down as i'm so glad i went to the car dealership yesterday and bought my jeep even go to your bathroom mirror or kitchen mirror wherever the lighting is better obviously for you and do a role play conversation of how you'd have a talk with a stranger about that subject. Like if you meet somebody on the tube or the train and you're talking about cars, and you're like, oh, do you know what? Actually, last week I went to the car dealership and eventually they had my car in that I wanted. So yeah, I bought it. Yeah, seriously. I'm not encouraging you to lie, obviously, but I am encouraging you to get your acting skills on because the more and more you believe it, it will help the universe give you what you want. Talk about it as though you already have it, like you already got it, like it's sealed, sealed, it's in the bag. Seriously. But with that, there is a caveat. You have to be extremely careful about who you tell your dreams to. Now, obviously, this will be in a separate video because it's too long of a subject to go on go into. But I would say be careful about who you tell what it is that you want to do because you could have the closest people around you that you think when really they're secretly giving you like the evil eye you know just evil and um yeah so be careful with that i was watching a video by tony gaskins and he said this really definitive statement he said especially regarding women 99.9% .9 of you women don't have a best friend you think you do but you don't and he was talking on the subject about when he was in his like dog days how he would sleep with the girlfriend and later on be able to sleep with the best friend but as a best friend you wouldn't sleep with your partner's ex-man no well, sorry with your yeah with your best friend's ex-partner would you sorry so yeah be careful about who you tell your dreams to but still prophesizing your future um what else do i want to talk about quickly uh for example when i got my dream of doing my masters it was the year before the UK would allow you to get a loan for doing a master's degree. BA was fine, but doing a master's, you would have to pay for it yourself. So this was the year before. And I wanted to go to Goldsmiths, University of London. And I met my professor, Tim Crook, and we had a little talk. They told me about, you know, I'd be great on the course. And then I asked him, would I be able to defer for a year? And he asked me, well, why would you want to defer? And I said, because I can't afford to pay 10 G straight up for this course, so I'd have to save up for the year to then go on to it. Then he told me about the J. Marion McCorro scholarship, and I applied for it. I literally wish I could have seen my brain waves. I know Tesla talks about energy, vibration, <coughs> sorry, energy, vibration, and frequency. My hay fever is like mad today. Anyway, and he talks about that, and I thought, Do you know what? I am going to get that scholarship. That scholarship is mine. Like, I literally had conversation with myself in the mirror like oh, I'm so happy that I got my uh, J. Mary McCora scholarship to study my master's degree at Goldsmiths University of London and guess what I also said and I will get a first did that happen yes it did I also got to work with my idols Trevor Nelson Victoria Derbyshire because I had two placements that I did after my degree but the point was is that I was prophesizing that that was mine like literally that was mine so um yeah that happened and like literally the other day for some strange reason i couldn't get and i was really proud of that master's degree by the way because i literally worked my ass off i literally lost like a stone and then i put on like two stone but whatever and um so anyway, the other day i was doing my morning jog <laughs> i can't even <laughs> i did a morning walk i got up at 4am but i didn't do a jog i did a walk and I was literally thinking, I genuinely need a horse rail. Like, I literally, I'm, I'm, when I have a horse rail, that's the way it's going to go. Because I couldn't find one online, I couldn't find one on Amazon, I couldn't find one on Argos, I couldn't find one in the shops. I needed a horse rail because I needed to dry my clothes. Like, yeah. And literally, rocked up, walking past this beautiful house, they had five horse rails. It didn't look like they'd even been used. So I looked and I thought, right, okay, I'm not going to have that one because I didn't like the angle of it. 
the other three were broken and then there was one that looked brand new i thought right okay thank you took it home disinfected it obviously and then the other day i needed a set of scales so not the analog ones i want to see the digital ones so i can see the stones the pounds and the ounces i'm on this whatsapp group and someone's like oh i've got a pair of digital scales i don't need them does anybody want them I just need to put a battery in it okay i'll have it <laughs> so honestly it's like these little things are happening and i'm speaking into the existence i've already got that i've already got it like literally i've already got it so it does happen um as for the book i mentioned last week the one thing one of the quotes i would take from it is be like a postage stamp stick to one thing so prophesize in your future if you want to be say for instance a entrepreneur and you also want to be a philanthropist and you also want to be a property developer stick to one thing at first or have a focus on only a few things because if you try and multitask with loads and loads and loads nothing will end up getting done or at least not to the standard of how it should get done next book i want to talk about quickly is can you see it how to win friends and influence people oh my gosh this book is amazing and you're probably thinking well how is that going to help me prophesy my future there's this saying that you are the sum of the five to six people that you hang around with the most so if you want to be slim hang around with slim people you want to be wealthy hang around with wealthy people so get in the know about who you want in your circle who you want to be a part of your tribe and also this book helps you not only with people but it also helps helps you to show you how to write oh, i'm so hot i went to do this video outside but it's just literally boiling i done it in my room instead anyway so yeah, um, it teaches you how to write, like for instance there's a principle about how when you write letters you're constantly putting I, 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 or covering letters, I, 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 and Daniel Carnegie he talks about how if you flip it around and talk about you, like I'd love to work at your company and experience you as a mentor with your guidance and how I can improve your goals so anyway i use some of these principles in this book and there was this one job that i wanted this is a couple of years ago and it was to do with properties i needed to learn more about properties and there was a job that i thought myself i know i could do it but i didn't necessarily have the stereotypical qualifications that you needed for it so i thought i'm going to write a letter but i'm going to use the principles of these books and i'm already you know saying about how i've already got the job prophesied my future and it worked got the job so it does work so I will leave you with that, how to win friends and influence people. I hope that you've read the one thing. Prophesize your future. Good luck. Stay safe, stay alert, and have a fabulous fortnight. Bye.